Now to the latest in the presidential election. Today, Kamala Harris made her first stop on the campaign trail. And we also saw President Biden out in public for the first time since announcing his exit from the race. Biden arriving back in D.C. today, having tested positive, or rather negative, I should say, for COVID. He had been isolating at his home in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. Today, we've also learned when he will address the nation about ending his reelection campaign. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer here now with more on the Harris campaign as she picks up more endorsements. Marsha. Maurice and Christine, having secured the support of enough delegates to guarantee she's the likely Democratic presidential nominee, Kamala Harris made her first campaign appearance in Battleground, Wisconsin, where she took the fight to Donald Trump. <laughs> Milwaukee, Wisconsin Democrats, having just said goodbye to Donald Trump and the GOP, were ecstatic that Kamala Harris chose their city for her first campaign appearance. The path to the White House goes through Wisconsin. She wasted no time taking the fight directly to Trump, pointing out that as a former prosecutor and California attorney general, she's familiar with men like him. I took on perpetrators of all kinds. <laughs> Predators who abused women. Fraudsters who ripped off consumers. So hear me when I say, I know Donald Trump's type. Her Wisconsin visit came after she had raised a whopping $100 million since Sunday and secured the endorsement of the two New Yorkers who played a pivotal role in getting Joe Biden to step aside, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries. In just the last 36 hours, I have seen a surge of enthusiasm from every corner of our party. Kamala Harris will fight for our families. Kamala Harris will fight for our future. Last night, New York Democrats informally endorsed Harris as the party's nominee, one of over 30 states to ratify her nomination and guarantee her place at the top of the ticket. Senator Brad Hoylman Siegel telling me she'll make a difference in key state elections. Kamala Harris's ascendancy as the leader of this ticket is going to make an enormous difference for down-ballot races, including members of Congress, and even the New York state legislature. And a new Reuters poll completed Monday and Tuesday after Biden dropped out has Harris ahead by two points. Harris 44, Trump 42. It is a cause for hope among Democrats because it's all about the battleground states and the excitement and enthusiasm that Biden's campaign did not have. Meanwhile, Donald Trump pointed out that Kamala Harris ran for president once before and failed. If she campaigns the way she campaigned then, uh, you know, I suspect she won't be too tough. Well, Harris is expected to pick a running mate within the next two weeks. Already, a short list is emerging with a number of candidates asked to submit to a formal vetting process. Now, the goal is for the final ticket to be approved by virtual vote before August 7th. More to come. Yeah, I would say so, and then not a lot of time. Not a lot. All right, of time. thank, thank you, Marcia. Marcia. President Biden will address the nation Wednesday on his decision to step out of the race. It's scheduled for 8 p.m. tomorrow night, and you can watch it right here on CBS Two.